Hi guys, good afternoon. I'm coming to you a little bit late. We have, I've been completely off my normal rotation schedule, but it's all good. I want to talk to you today about scheduling. Um, first things first, everybody's schedules looks different. Some people work, some people don't. Some people work all kinds of shifts. Some people have time off during the week and are working weekends. So you fit Sensi into your life. Don't fit your life into Sensi. So, and that's the best thing. That's the best thing about Sensi. You can work it from anywhere, anytime. It doesn't matter. So, if if you want to work it as a business or if you want to work it as a hobby, these scheduling tips will have you having a steady income, whether it's just a little bit or whether it's more like a business every day, full time job type thing. <clears throat> so the best the best thing to do as this schedule is work five days a week have two days where it's downtime of course you know still post about some sensi still post about your life things like that but don't worry about you know these tips that i'm about to give you of what you need to do on a daily basis when you work in your business <clears throat> now first off you need to get a calendar this is what I use. I use a calendar. I do not use an hour by hour calendar because that would stress me out. I do, I use a calendar and I write down the things that I need to do each day, what I need to do. And I just check them off as I do it. Because if I were to get up at, um, let me, if I were to get up at, say, I need to get up at seven in order to work my Sensi business and be at work at eight. If for some reason that I don't feel good and I stay in bed till 7.30, then I'm going to be behind in my hour by hour schedule. And that's going to stress me out. So I don't have a time frame. I don't have 7 o'clock, I got to get up. 7.15, I got to have um, host conversations. 7.20, I got to have joint conversations. I don't do that. I just write down my activities that I need to do for the day, and if it takes me all day to do it, that's fine. If I get up at 7 a.m. and all my activities are done by 7.30, wonderful. But I'm not stressed that if I'm running behind one day or sometime, I'm not stressed that I'm behind and I have all this to do and I've got other stuff going on. So I don't do time blocking. I just do my days that I work my business. I work my my Cincy business Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Those are my days off. I'm not communicating with people. Yeah, if people are messaging me, I'll talk to them. And, of course, I'm still posting on my VIP group, and I'm still interacting like that. But I'm not doing these things. So you need to figure out what five days that you want to work your Cincy business. If you have a job that you work, and sometimes you work weekends and sometimes you don't, Whatever two days you have off, you want to work those two those two days. You definitely want to work on those Cincy business. Maybe you had in those other three days. Maybe Monday wouldn't be a good day. Maybe Friday wouldn't be a good day. So maybe work those other two businesses. Maybe Saturday and Sunday and a day during the week or however your schedule is, fit it into your schedule. If you have if you don't have a set schedule like Monday through Friday that you're working, then um, Set your maybe every Sunday night or when your new schedule at work comes out, that's when you set your, your Sensi schedule out of what days you're going to work and what you're going to do each day. Do that. Weekly, monthly. Mine's set up by the whole year because my schedule is not going to change. So my calendar, literally, you look at December and my activities that I need to do, December. My activities I need to do is already written because I have stuff that I want to do on Mondays. I have stuff that I do on Tuesdays. I have monthly things that I do, weekly things that I do, all that kind of stuff. And so when the new year rolls around, my schedule is set firm. All I got to do is flip from day to day and do it. But if you don't have a set schedule like that, then maybe every Sunday or whenever your schedule comes out, figure it out and then go by that schedule. So these are the things that you need to be doing. And when I say daily, I mean five days out of the week. You need to follow up with a customer or customers daily. Follow up, that is key, very important. Have a join conversation daily. Have a host conversation daily. 
once a week, you should be watching a training video. I come up here on Fridays and do a training. So at some point in time on Friday, like Friday night, you should come up here and watch this training. At some point in time during Friday, you should come watch that training. That could be your one training. I watch multiple trainings a week. There may be days that I watch trainings every day of the week. I also post a training video every Monday from someone else, from different people, talking about different things to help you out. Because I could say one thing, she could say the same thing, and you may understand it better from her than how I'm explaining it. So you, those two days, Fridays and Mondays, you should go ahead and put in your calendar that you're gonna watch that training at some point in time. It doesn't matter when, at some point in time during those two days, you should watch those trainings. Even if it's an hour long, you can take your phone in the bathroom while you're showering and listen to that training video. I have done that before. When you get out of the shower, if things have stuck in your head that were that you liked, that you say, oh, I might want to try that, I make notes as soon as I get out of the shower, all the things that I want to look at or check into or maybe implement. You can do that. You shower every day. You can watch a 30-minute training video. And sometimes my training videos that I've posted maybe an hour long. Well, if you're riding around, if you're going back and forth to work, you can watch those training videos. You can listen. You listen to the radio, take 30 minutes, take 45, a minute, an hour from listening to the radio and listen to a training video that's going to help you with your Scentsy business. Once a week, go live. I go live pretty much twice a week. I don't have any parties going on right now. Uh, around January and February, my parties slow down because I'm preparing for the new catalog season come March. March, April, May, June, July. I'm gonna be rolling my parties out. So, go live in your parties at least once. I run my parties from Monday to Sunday. Sometimes I extend them, but I don't be posting a whole lot of stuff in there because I've already done all my posting, but their link is still open if they need it. Go live in your Facebook parties at least once. Go live in your VIP group at least once. Talk about Scentsy, talk about something, but show your face. Um, emails, okay, I just posted how to do MailChimp earlier today because I was on another Facebook group and we were talking and she was wanting to know about MailChimp. It is free. I don't pay for a whole lot of stuff. I only pay for Visibly. Um, I was paying for Amy, which was a follow-up app but I, I went to a pen paper binder system for my follow-ups and my follow-up is even better than what it was with Amy. It's just how it is. So email your customers, go to your workstation, anyone who has purchased from you, export that contact list. Those e their emails will be in there. Upload that email into MailChimp and send out your customer email. Maybe not every week, but at least send it out on usually since he announces things that are happening on Thursday, that's why I send my emails out on Friday. Thursday, say they announce, you know, the Go Go Mango's coming or the Benny Boo Boo. Normally anything that come out, they announce it on Thursday. I send my customers those emails on Friday. So send your customers, figure out a day, whatever day works for you. Be consistent, try to stick to the same schedule the same day. Your customers will get used to seeing it. You could do it on Mondays if Mondays work better for you, or maybe Sundays if you need to do it on the weekend, but send your customers an email. It is free to send them an email. Why not send them? Because these customers, there's gonna be a lot of customers that have purchased from you that you have email addresses that are not gonna be on your Facebook, seeing your posts, or not gonna be on your VIP group, so email them, it costs you nothing. Email them. Happy mail, once a month. Try to get in the habit of sending happy mail. Um, even if at, at first it's a postcard, because a postcard stamp is like 35, maybe 40 cents. Buy some cute postcards, write a hand thank you. Buy some stickers from the workstation. The next time you place an order, you can get stickers for a couple bucks. Stick a sticker on that postmark card and send a thank you to them. They will appreciate it. Make sure you thank them in your emails as well. Taxes. 
once a month, you need to be sitting down, getting your taxes together. Anything that you've bought on the on um, from Scentsy that you are using for marketing can be written off as uh, taxes. Anything that you've bought from the consultant store that you're using for business, marketing tools, anything, all that can be written off. Keep track of your mileage when you're delivering to your customers. All that stuff can be written off. And if you compile that once a month, it will be so much easier at the end of the year, you have all your stuff together when you file your taxes. Like it didn't take me no time. It takes me, I do my taxes once a month. Like I do it around like the first or second week of the month for the prior month. And it only takes me like 15 minutes. I go to Amazon, print all my stuff out that I bought from Amazon. I have a list of where I buy all my main things from. And I go to each place to see what I bought for that last month, print it out, boom. I have a little sheet that I've attached up here where it breaks down each category. You add it up, staple it all together, you're done. Simple as that. So those are the key items that you need to work on daily, every week in your Scentsy business for you to make money with Scentsy. If you wanna make, if the reason you joined Scentsy was to help you pay your car payment, help you pay the bills, these are the things that you need to do in order for Scentsy to help make that happen. You can't just join Scentsy, not talk about Scentsy, not post about Scentsy, and think you're gonna get paid. It doesn't work like that. You have to consistently talk to people and consistently do the things daily, and it will pay, it will show up in your business. It may take a little while to get going, but eventually it will start getting better and better and better. So March 1st, that new catalog season comes out. In a couple of weeks, mid-February, you should. we're gonna start having those host conversations again, getting March booked up. My, my, um, what I shoot for is I wanna have two hosts every week. Every week I wanna have two parties going for somebody. That's my goal every week to, to get me to what I want and where I want to be in my Scentsy business. So you just got to figure out maybe you just need to start off with one every other week and build it from there because that's what, what my goal was at one time is maybe having a party once a month or having a party once a week. And you just, as you grow, you will want to grow your parties and you will want to grow your Scentsy business. So start small and work your way up, but you've got to start somewhere. Write these tips down, get you a calendar, figure out what days you want to work Scentsy, put every day all these I action items that I've told you to do um, during five days of the week and do it. I know you can. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for March. We are going to World Tour February the 11th. Um, for Raleigh. So if you're near in North Carolina, near the Raleigh area, World Tour is still open up and you still can join. Um, but the new catalog comes out February 1st, so we'll probably see all those good things then. But if you would like to go to World Tour, there, as long as it's not um, booked up, registration's still open, you can still go. So I highly encourage you to go to a World Tour near you. You will not regret it. You will meet other Cincy consultants and maybe make some really long life friends. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you all have a wonderful Friday and a great week. Bye guys.